Hi, Dan Murray, your restoration coach. Thank you for taking a few minutes and joining me today. I'll keep this short and to the point. We're going to talk more about marketing now. And I want to, you to stop and think about the amount of work that you need to put in and the amount of steps that you need to take in order to have a successful business. Most of us want to go from a tree this size and immediately be able to put it in a fire and burn it. Well, what we have to do is we have to chop it first, uh, cut it down, cut it up into usually 8 foot uh, pieces, and then we cut it up into 16 to 24 inch pieces for firewood, and then we have to split it, then we have to rank it, and then we let it usually air dry outside um, for a few months. Then it's ready to burn. A lot of preparation. This wood pile reminded me a lot today about what we have to do in marketing our businesses. So, you know, we have to be thinking ahead. We can't be always reactive, okay? Now, what I mean by that is when we're busy, especially in the disaster restoration and environmental remediation business, when we're busy, we stop marketing, okay? All of our focus and energy is spent doing the operation side of the business. But we always have to keep the funnel being full. We have to always be putting marketing efforts into the funnel, the sales funnel, so to speak. So remember, always be planning 3, 6, 9, 12 months ahead. Identify your, your 10 and 10 customers like we talked about in the last uh, video blog. If you uh, didn't see that, please go back and have a watch. It's a good information. And you, your business then will always be successful. You'll always have uh, uh, sales in the hopper, so to speak. And uh, you'll be um, glad that you've uh, um, reaped. You're going to be able to reap uh, your harvest by the seeds that you plant months, sometimes even years prior. Okay? Thanks. That's it for now. Cheers. Dan, your restoration coach.